Hi Capricorn, this is Petra with Indigo Tarot Dot Club, and I'm here to do a general psychic tarot reading for you for the month of May 2017. I've already shuffled and cut the cards. I have several decks ready to go. I'm going to do a reading for work, home, love, money, and overall advice. So let's get started. For work, I have the Three of Cups, the Tower, and the King of Wands. It feels like there's going to be some kind of luncheon or ele um, celebration or event at your job that's going to involve food. It may involve alcohol and it feels like someone's going to stick their foot in their mouth and cause a great deal of embarrassment for everyone or for a large part of the group of people that are going to be there at the luncheon and it may also be pointed towards someone that could not make it to the to the event some negative uh, comments may be made about different people but including a person or some persons that were unable to attend this event now it's either going to be um, at first I, I saw it at a place at a place of business at a restaurant like you rented some tables but then I also saw it for a smaller group of you uh, in the in your office somewhere uh, like a storage room or something but you use it as a lunchroom there's a male older male who is very upset and sad about what happens at this event I can't tell if he's upset because one of the people that's being talked badly about is a female that's a friend of his or he's just looking down on the whole vibe of negativity and gossip that's going on at this event um, it's supposed to be a some kind of a happy event happy anniversary type event but some people are bringing bringing it down so hopefully it's not you <laughs> but if you if you run into this uh, I suggest going away to some other part of the event where there's not all this negative talk going on okay for home I have the five of wands the knight of swords and the page of pentacles okay it looks like there's going to be an argument over some type of fence or enclosure surrounding the home. It seems like you're the one that's going to come out on top. You're going to be victorious or the fence that you want or the fixture that you want is going to be chosen or decided upon by the end of this argument. Hopefully it doesn't get too heated and then you're going to move forward with uh, purchasing this fence or finding out that it's on sale somewhere and being able to purchase it and saying you see I'm glad I chose this and I'm glad you decided on it because look we're saving a bunch of money on getting it it feels like you're it feels like you're talking to a spouse um, but when you say you see to someone that's kind of like I told you so and most people don't like that so eh, you might not want to say <laughs> might not want to say that Okay, for love, I have the sun, the nine of rods, and the lovers. It looks like you're very happy because you're starting, you've started a new relationship. You're super happy. One of the things you might be doing is posting on Facebook how happy you are. Your ex, however, is checking out your Facebook page, and he's very, very, very sad, upset, and could be could be a she very sad very upset feels like you're doing it on purpose to rub it in his face still loves you very much and uh, is hoping and praying that there's a turnaround in the situation and that you'll come back to to him or her it seems like it seems like you kind of sort of are doing this on purpose posting a lot of photos a lot of where you're going out with your girlfriends and your boyfriend um, I can't tell if it's going to cause any negative repercussions for you in the future, but 
uh, all I can see here is that your ex is very, very hurt and also angry because he feels like you're doing it on purpose or she feels like you're doing it on purpose. But they are um, praying a lot to get you back. Okay, for money, I have the Fool, the Ten of Swords, and the Five of Cups. The first thing I, I um, saw and felt with this is that you're looking for a job. You've been looking for a long time. You're very hopeful. Um, there's two that you applied to that you really, really want to hear back on. And it looks like you're going to hear back on one via a phone call. I don't know if you're going to receive word from the other one, but for sure one of them that, that you deem higher, uh, more valuable, you're going to receive a phone call on that one. It might involve you having to leave the city that you're living in right now. Um, but currently you're, you're sad, you're looking for a job, and you're, but you're hopeful. And um, the other two cards here looks like you've been told no many times and that's really hurt your self-esteem your confidence level has been shot down but this this spread i'm feeling that you're going to get at least two two call callbacks here uh one callback via phone one may be via the other may be via email it feels like it's going to be between the middle to the end of may that you get this so for the first two weeks in May I recommend applying at more places and also doing some kind of hobby to keep yourself busy because once you start working you're gonna have less time to go out and see your relatives or go out and spend time on your hobby things like that and so it seems like it seems like uh, during your spare time while you have it take advantage of it by keeping yourself busy because if you don't keep yourself busy you're gonna you're going to get sad and bored and you're going to keep ruminating over, okay, when are these people going to call me? Oh my God, am I ever going to find a job? You know, things like that. And you don't, you don't need that. You don't need that. Okay. For overall advice for the month of May, 2017 Capricorn, I have pulled yoga. So let me read that to you. Bahaji and the other Ascended Masters guide you to do yoga regularly. Yoga's benefits are one of the answers to your question. Through yoga, you'll gain increased clarity, energy, flexibility, toning, and psychic awareness. Um, it feels like maybe you have a question about your health or nutrition, how you can improve something. So maybe that's why I pull this card for you. You may also meet wonderful new friends and have fun at yoga classes. Yoga is an ancient tradition among spiritual practitioners because of these many esoteric and material benefits. Don't delay. Do some yoga today. Additional meanings for this card. Stretch often today. Practice breath work today by taking full inhalations and exhalations. Teach yoga or invite others to participate in yoga with you watch a yoga video or take a yoga class today um, if you're an Amazon Prime member I have a facial massage yoga video that you can watch for free on as an Amazon Prime member and I also have a vinyasa yoga video that you can watch for free as a Prime member um, the facial massage is really cool because that'll um, that can tighten your skin and reduce the appearance of wrinkles and um, the vinyasa yoga is for beginners so that might be something you would be interested in um, I also have a Tai Chi video there 24 forms demonstration Tai Chi video if, if I remember I'll put the links in, in the description below but um, even if you just do gentle stretching for like five to ten minutes a day that will help you a lot and if you want to get in the mood to do it you might want to put your favorite music on especially music that you like to dance or sing to and it'll help it go help you get through it a lot faster and easier okay I hope you enjoyed your reading Capricorn for May 2017 I look forward to seeing you in June 
And this month I'm giving away free psychic tarot readings. Visit my website, indigotarot.club, and scroll down so that you can see the button to click on to enter for a chance to win one of the free psychic tarot readings. Good luck and thank you for watching and listening. This is Petra at indigotarot.club.